welcome to our devotion, or my devotion, I should say. Uh, today is November 18th, 2020. I'm so happy you joined me. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 17. Uh, we're going to be talking about living as strangers in this world. Uh, living as strangers in this world. So uh, let us begin. Uh, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our psalmody from Psalm 139. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down, and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it all together. You hem me in, behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, I cannot attain it. Where shall I go from your spirit, or where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, Surely the darkness shall cover me, and the light about me be night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is bright as the day, for darkness is as light with you. For you formed my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, my soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written every one of them, the days that were formed for me, when, I, when as yet there were none of them. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! If I would count them, they are more than the sand. I awake, and I am still with you. O oh, that you would slay the wicked, O God! O men of blood, depart from me! They speak against you with malicious intent. Your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate those who hate you, O Lord? And do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with complete hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any grievous way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our devotion for today comes from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 17. St. Peter writes, So you must honor God while you live as strangers here on earth. You know, when I was reading through this text uh, from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 17, so you must honor God while you live as strangers here on earth, I immediately thought of a hymn. The hymn is in our hymnal. It's hymn number 748. Perhaps you've heard this or sung this hymn before. The hymn goes like this. I'm but a stranger here. Heaven is my home. Earth is a desert drear. Heaven is my home. Danger and sorrow stand round me on every hand. Heaven is my fatherland. Heaven is my home. You know, as I read through these, uh, this verse and as I read through our text from 1 Peter, I kind of wondered about that. Live as strangers. And it, at first, I guess it sounds like shoddy advice. What does Peter say? That we shouldn't make friends? That we shouldn't care about our family? That we should live as strangers? That we should be apathetic about others and not get involved in our communities? 
But then I thought a bit. It can't mean those things because Jesus wants people to care about each other in a big way. He even wants us to love and to pray for our enemies. And so the idea of living our lives as strangers in this world has to mean something else. And when you take a look at how Jesus and his disciples lived their lives on this earth, you pick up a pretty good sense of what this verse really means. To live as strangers here means to live our lives knowing that our real home is somewhere else. We forget this sometimes. And because we do, we get crazy with fear. We fear that if our life does not meet expectations and, becomes a, and become a big success story, then somehow our life is a failure. You know what? For forgetting that our true home is in heaven, for living our lives for the here and now, we probably deserve that fear, and perhaps even a whole lot worse. But Jesus' life and death have washed us clean of those failures. And once again, he calls upon us to remember that our life here in this world is not about making a mark. It's not about meeting expectations. It's not about becoming a big success. It's about walking with God in faith. And so live here as a stranger and know that Jesus is coming soon to take you home to your fatherland. In the name of Jesus, amen. Would you pray with me? Dear Jesus, thank you for washing away all of my sins on the cross. Forgive me for the times I am fearful about this life and forget about true life in heaven. Remind me always of my heavenly home. Amen. Please join with me now in praying the prayer our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Once again, thank you for joining me for this devotion. I hope you are doing well, and I hope that you are staying healthy. Until next time, the Lord be with you.